welcome to Unhinged Magi, Road Edition. Yep, we're back in the car, guys. We are. We drive around a lot. And we are talking about debt again this time. Yes. And what to do with debt, maybe not get debt, what's an okay thing to buy with debt, when you should possibly not. We already talked about this a little bit, but I think this topic deserves a little bit more conversation. Exactly. Every Everybody can talk about debt all day long because everybody says there's always a good a little bit amount of debt. Yeah, and there is such a thing as, as good debt versus bad debt. There is a, a reality there. There is a difference between them. But uh, we got so much positive feedback from people talking about debt and trying to encourage people to not buy magic cards like on a credit card or on like really bad debt. We got so much positive feedback about that video, and there was so much more we could have got into that I figured like maybe this deserves like another discussion. Well, there is a topic. There is a difference between uh, using a credit card. So I do use a credit card to buy magic cards. Uh, it has a two percent cash back kind of deal. However, I have the money in the bank to actually pay it off. So actually, I can get a little more on my investment side of the equation by using the credit card. It, I'm not really using it as a debt per se, but as I use it to gain a percentage of money back so I can buy more stuff. Yep. I think the big uh, key position that we didn't talk an awful lot about last time is you are a weaker, we, there's a lot of discussion these days about diamond hands, strong hands, you know, people on Reddit, Wall Street oh, Beds are yeah. talking about that a lot these days. I love my diamonds. If you're buying investments <laughs> on a credit card, you are not diamond hands. You are the exact opposite. You are the weak hands that is going to be forced to sell a position when things actually get bad. Well, it's, it's all relative. I mean, we have to do preface it that if you are planning to pay it off at the end of the month, 100%, and you're guaranteed to to pay it off at the end of the month. Sorry guys, bumpy road here. Yeah, sorry about that. But yeah, if you're guaranteed to pay it off at the end of the month, then you're still diamond hands, you know? Yeah. You're still, you're still able to take it. You could have bought yeah. it in cash, you chose not to. Yeah, and I almost consider that like not being a credit card basically because it's like, yeah, you're buying things on a credit card, but then when you pay it off at the end of the month, the, the card was just the vehicle by which you actually bought it. You didn't really buy it and leave it in, on credit so you're paying interest on it. And that, that is the difference. You know, you're not sitting there carrying the debt, paying interest on it. And then if some black swan event pops up, you're going to get caught with your shorts down. It's not like that. If you're just buying it with a credit card and then paying it off initially. That, that's a very different scenario. In fact, everything I buy is actually on a credit card these days because I get 2% cash back on my credit card. And so that's, I don't get 2% cash back when I use cash. So, you know, Holly and I just buy things on our credit card and then we just pay it off. And we just get that little discount. It, it's interesting actually, they, they collect it all and then we have to like log into this account and we have to say, oh, please click something and like send us money. And then they do actually well, send actually, us like yeah, money. Well actually, I have a PayPal one and uh, that one actually works really well. I just click on it and it sticks it in my, <clears throat> the money straight into my PayPal account. Yep, yep. <laughs> now, um, did we talk talk about speculation on on credit or or debt? No, I very don't, much. I don't think so. Not to an extreme extent. Now, um, that that's that's another like side of the story. Like if if you don't know for sure, and nobody knows for sure on like almost anything. I know everything for sure all the time. Okay, so except for Dan, I have uh, future say. <laughs> nobody knows for sure the way an investment's gonna go. Like this one right here for sale. Yeah, and when you buy something that could or go up or could not, and you're buying it on debt, that's most of the time it's not a great idea. Um, that's the kind of thing you want to do on cash. And so, there's so many people out there these days buying like reserve list cards and buying like older cards, participating in buyouts. And if you watch like even the Rudy videos where he's like showing like a big collection. Oftentimes, what I'll notice he says is like, you know, Joe Schmo, whoever, bought all of these cards, but they actually bought them on a credit card, and then they started getting eaten alive by like the payments on the credit card, and they needed to move them, and so before that investment was ready, really ready to sell, they're forced to go back into the market and like like give up their position and either take a loss or barely make any profit, and the only reason they had to do that is because they bought it on credit. Yep, and that's that's happened in actual uh, game stores too, because he's actually done videos on that, where they buy a bunch of stuff from that's being forced 
buy, buy, like, uh, you know, stuff, and then they buy it, and they have the debt, and then this card company, or, uh, I'm sorry, the LGS is, like, upside down, so he comes in and takes it all. Yeah, there's, there's a whole relationship there that, of course, we can't go too much into, but there's a whole thing that goes on with distributors where, like, stores sometimes find themselves in a position where they have to buy, even if they didn't necessarily so, want to. So. Well, they will have to buy from the distributor and then like but then like they have to like sell it because it's like they didn't really want it and they didn't want to carry it but now in order to maintain that distributor relationship they had to buy it so yeah those kinds of things can happen in various markets with distributors and such to kind of keep that product turning over and keep your relationship with the distributor going so that's a tough spot that they can kind of get into sometimes but the reason why they got to get rid of it, a large reason, is that debt. It's that cr that they're paying constantly on it. That they got to get that off the books. Because like if you don't if you don't sell it or it doesn't go up in value, you're taking a loss, right? So the default position is taking a loss. Yay, default position. Uh huh. Downward facing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you know it, it can work out. There there could be times where say maybe you don't have cash and somebody puts a card up for sale that you're looking at and you're thinking like this is way under market value i'm just going to go ahead and take that risk and then you buy it on a credit card planning to sell it and then maybe sometimes it will work out and you sell it exactly but it can work but that's like literally playing with fire you guys literally playing with fire probably not a good when investment you get burnt, idea it'll hurt yeah, it'll, you'll get burned like one time and then you'll be like, okay, that's it. That's, I'm done. I lost so much money on that deal. Yeah. And I, I didn't have the money at the, t during the time and had this huge credit card bill and the wife was yelling at me and just, I felt like a real Timmy. <laughs> okay, so we're back everybody. Sorry, like the, I ran out of space on the phone so it's now recording on the SD card. Technology, dun, dun, dun. it happens sometimes. It does. The technology is good. Yep. That's how the robots are going to kill us all. Yep. So prepare for that day when the robots come for you. I and plan on selling everybody out first. Yep, yep. <laughs> See, you're collecting oh, all oh, this yeah. product. Oh, 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 so when okay, the robots well, come okay. to your house, you can negotiate with things that they can negotiate with. Exactly. So they, oh, hail our robot overlords. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, for one, salute our new robot overlords. overlords, and I'm looking forward to working yeah, in their salt mines. mines. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there you go, you guys. Yeah, unhinged magi generally against be generally against credit card debt for Magic the Gathering. Get yourself stable first, exactly. then go invest in this stuff. So you are the strong hands. Go be diamond hands, people. Don't be weak hands. That's right. Always stick glue on your hands so that everything sticks. Okay, glue on the hands. There we go. Bye, everybody. <laughs>